micro, nano, everywhere you turn, people are brewing beer. If you're curious about what all the buzz is about, but don't want to make your home a test kitchen, Eric and Sky Croswell have you covered. You are at Incredibrew. Uh, we are the oldest brew on premise in the country. Actually, uh, 1995 is when we opened up, so 22 years ago. And what happens here, it's a very lab-like setting. A lot of folks will come in and actually uh, make their batches of beer, wine, or soda. The Croswells bought Incredibrew in 2015 after Eric, a longtime customer, decided to give up his corporate job and turn his hobby into a business. For me personally, uh, I'm very much a people person. I like being around people. Uh, prior to this, working in just a marketing capacity behind a desk, you know, for 40 plus hours a week, it was nice to get out from behind that desk and actually be with people, community. So what can you expect when you come to brew? They can expect a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. someone always says, what do I need to bring? Yeah. And I always say, just bring your happy shoes. That's right. <laughs> It is true. No experience is needed. The crew at Incredibrew will walk you through all the steps. The hardest part, picking a recipe. When somebody walks in the door, we really just hand them this book, right? This is the big old book of recipes. And in here, you are going to find about 200 recipes, various different styles from all over. Look at that. That's our Teddy Hopper, so our Hetty Topper clone, you know, and the Hoptimus, which is a Sculpin clone. So after they select their recipe, our team will walk them through the entire process. Uh, they can expect to be here about two hours for brewing, then they're gonna leave it with us for about two weeks to ferment and carbonate, and then actually they'll come back to bottle it, which they can expect to be here about an hour and a half that day. Eric and Skye say there is no typical customer, but quite a few repeats. I think you get everywhere from the casual millennial that wants to literally that weekend learn how to brew beer and that's that, you know, and then that's fun for them. And then you get into the people that are really much more, I'd say, in depth and have spreadsheets for years of minimal tweaks that they do to beers that they want to hone in on one very specific flavor. Randall McIntyre and Richard Norton are part of a group of beer enthusiasts who get together quarterly here at Incredibrew. We're making beer, enjoying it very much. We've been doing this, at least I've been involved doing this for about eight years. I think we got a couple people who have been here about 16. Uh, this is very easy uh, in terms of if you try to do this at home, which I've done, uh, it's, a, it's a very kind of difficult and messy process and you get very mixed results many times. Uh, these guys have the recipes down perfect. So it's, I can't even remember a time where we got a bad batch of beer in a lot of years of doing this. And in fact, any time we got one that maybe was problematic, these guys took care of it. They say half the fun is getting together with like-minded beer geeks. It's just camaraderie, make some beer, it's, and it's actually good beer. I've had some homebrew from people that isn't very good. So this was a way to make homebrew, but not mess it up. <laughs> What's amazing to me is when you see them interact with one another and kind of buddy up. You know, to, like people that outside of here, I don't think you'd see them talking to one another. But in here, it's like, hey, you want, you want to try what I made? You want to try what I made? Next thing you know, they're talking everything but politics. <laughs> Because that's the rule. No politics. <laughs> <laughs> Beer, not your beverage of choice? Don't worry, there's wine here too. What folks do, they come in just like the beer, they come in and actually, in again like that lab-like setting, um, they'll get together with some like-minded folks and start making their wine. Um, our team walks them through the whole process. Each batch is going to get them approximately 28 bottles. And uh, we have about 30 different varieties here. We source the juice from all over the, the world. We're here tonight to make some wine. Um, doing it with my husband and my, and my stepdaughter. And we enjoy drinking different kinds of wine and have been here before to make wine and really enjoy it. So it's um, part of being with family and part of drinking wine together. On any given night at Incredibrew, you can find people making wine, labeling, brewing, even making soda. For me, I, I love when 
whenever we're out and about, doesn't matter where we are, if we mention to anyone that this is what we do and this is our business, every single time someone says, I've been there, my father's been there, my brother's been there, I went there as a kid and I made soda, and they all, we had such a great time, and that, that just shows me that, that we're giving everyone a great time while they're here. Back to the beer, the men have been busy, all the kettles are boiling, but what's inside? I am a big fan of IPAs. I think most of them, the crew here is IPAs, so we usually do three or four IPAs every every round. And then, you know, a Pilsner. We'll always do one, two or three other ones every batch, because we always make six batch rounds. Eric's favorite brew? The one that's in front of me. My favorite brew is is the next one. You know, I kind of like hunting for what that new trend is, and, and right now it's still the IPA and what can you do with that I mean that is the truth how many more hops can we shove into a beer <laughs> that your tongue you know can really take Eric and Skye believe the future is bright for Incredible Brew and they think they've got the recipe just about right I think the reason it's, it's lasted so long is it is special and it's a, a special experience and it's something that people don't get elsewhere even at other brew on premise and for us it's important to keep that uniqueness and, and to keep the kind of the feeling of, of what this place is. Mm -hmm.